and I asked him why again, and all he did was pew pew. <laughs> Someone else just told us that it's going to be an hour, and then it's going to open back up. So the lady was like, you're not in the system. <laughs> and for a second we were like, What's going on everyone? <clears throat> it's Evan and Megan again, and welcome back to Two Up Travels. Today is a sad day for Megan and I. I lost my sock. One of my socks today has gone missing. If you see it, please send me a message. I don't have many socks. Yeah, it's hard when you don't have very many things and you lose one thing, you're like, no. And you want to act like it's no big deal, but it's like a really big deal. You can't stop thinking about it. So when you lose one sock and you only have three pairs of socks, it's kind of a big deal. It's actually a really good day. Wait, Megan, where are we? We are in Chela, Guatemala. Chela is not the name you would see on the map, but it's really long and hard to it's say. It's not the what? Not the name you would oh, see on the map. Oh, it's like Quetzal Mango Tango. Quetzal Mango Tango. Yeah, the we'll show you. The official name. Is the, yeah, it's an ancient Mayan name. It's really spiritual. But yeah, we're in Guatemala. <laughs> Here we are, we're we not are in Mexico like anymore. in Guatemala, yeah, like not in. just on the border anymore. We made some progress. And it was an interesting crossing into Guatemala. Yeah. So we, yeah, we wanted to cover the last couple days and break it down for you all because it was, Megan, how'd you put it? Uh, it was eventful yet uneventful. Truly, yeah. yeah. So, let's Hola. hey, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Let's, uh, let's just kind of jump right into it. We were in Tapachula. So we, Grab the coffee pot to make coffee. And there is a cockroach in there. <laughs> Disgusting, what the fuck? Ew! What you doing over there? Farting. You need to take number three. Take number three? Nah, I don't know. You might say something even crazier on take number three. I don't know. So, all right, try it again. Hey, Megan, what you doing over there? I'm drinking bones. <laughs> Last night in Mexico, how you feeling? Sad. Yeah. But we're doing our favorite Mexico things. What's that? Playing combat crib. Our own personal spin on cribbage. Drinking some some of Mexico's <laughs> finest. That is Mexico's finest right there. Yep. Coronas. Yeah. Uh, Hashtag then, Corona. We're gonna go get some tacos soon. Hell yeah, man. Mexico. Let's do it. Deal me up. The plan was. Uh, it was Wednesday, and we were gonna kind of take our time getting up in the morning because we figured there wouldn't be a lot of people crossing the border then. All right, well, this is it. Kind of nervous. <laughs> I think that like it's always exciting going into a new country, but the border crossing itself is always a little bit nerve-wracking because it's just so it can be. I don't know. You're really at someone else's good graces a lot of the times. So let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Good vibes. About 10 minutes into our ride, we hit some traffic and then we kind of weave around that traffic and then there's all of these orange cones set up in the middle of the street and a police officer who like comes up and like puts up his <clears> hand <throat> and says no pass R. Yeah so I asked him we're like why why can't we go through and he said the border was closed uh, until like 2 p.m. or something and I asked him why again and all he did was pew pew. <laughs> I was like what is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's aliens at the border. <laughs> There's Power Rangers. I don't know. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We knew exactly what it meant. Sí, sí, pero está cerrado. Oh, okay, but the border is closed. Okay. Y también en el en el sur. Todo. Todo. Oh, everywhere. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, there's nothing we can do. Okay. Está bien. Oh, okay. Gracias. Claro. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, cool. Awesome. There was a shooting yeah. at the border. Cool. And all of the border crossings from Guatemala to Mexico were closed. Like they For shut that day. them all down. Yeah. Yeah. Which, I mean, hindsight, I wanted to get up and go earlier in the morning that day, and Evan was like, nah, it's fine, we can take our time. Had we been there earlier. We would have been around for a shooting maybe. He's like, so you're going to Guatemala? We're like, yeah, we're traveling to Guatemala today. And so he says he tells us we can go around it and kind of directs us in an area to go wait. So we go over there and then all of a sudden we're like in this roundabout with just like probably like 60 to 70 taxis. Everyone's just parked. Everyone's just like stopped and left their cars. It was like one of those 
like end of the world movies when like the giant tidal wave is coming or the aliens are coming and everyone stops on the freeway and just abandons their cars. That's what it looked like. like yeah. Just a bunch of empty taxis in the middle of a roundabout. <laughs> Someone else just told us that it's going to be an hour and then it's going to open back up. But then we also had someone like an official tell us it's not going to be open until 2. So we're going to wait around for a little bit and see what happens and then go from there. It was just us and a bunch of Mexicans hanging out and um, it was actually a really was, good time. Yeah, very fun. Okay, everyone. Well, we're here. We're hanging out. We're waiting. Everyone. <laughs> we got some new friends for the two up crew, which is red. Antonio. Money? Go money. Wow, okay. Mucho gusto, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, so we're just hanging out. We're waiting for the border to open up. And uh, yeah, they've been. Chiapas, Mexico. Chiapas, Mexico is the, is the best. So. We just kind of had the opportunity to like go around and talk to locals and kind of get a feel for the scene and ask some more questions. And then people would come and talk to us and we'd come try and tell them what we knew. And then People saw the bike and saw we were from Oregon, and so they came over and they were hanging out with us. They and were we, like, so funny. Gave them some stickers, and you know we like have them on the channel and everything like <laughs> that. And it was fun. It was yeah. really cool. So even though we're like, yeah, this is different than we thought, like whatever. And then we re realized that like, okay, so even though they say the border is going to open back up in an hour, we don't know if it's actually going to open in an hour or if like that's just like the Latin American like time, like there's like, yeah, it's going to be an hour and then it ends up being like two or three hours. So we decided to stick around for a while and see if it opened up in an hour. And lo and behold, it did. It did. All of a sudden, like everyone just starts like, wah, 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 like honking their horns and all of a sudden like it went from like everybody's just hanging out to suddenly like all of the cars are mass exodus. All right. Adios. All right. Adios. Okay. Well, we made a lot of friends. We're going to head to the border and is everyone honking with excitement? I think they just like to honk. And so we start going down the interstate to get towards the border of Talisman and we just start hitting like seriously heavy traffic. All of the people who were heading that way that were stopped now are going this way and it's all congested. We and realized that if we proceeded with the border crossing that it would probably be backed up because like everyone who'd been trying to get through for hours would be waiting. Right. Yeah, but we pushed forward a little bit yeah, and then- Yeah, we just kind of wanted to see. We wanted to see if maybe we could get through because people told us it was pretty quick. Mm -hmm. um, and then while we were driving along, uh, this guy like hollered at us and we were like, we stopped and we looked at him. He ended, we don't know where he was from, if he was from Canada or the US. He was telling us, he said, don't go to Talisman. He said, take the exit and go south to um, Ciudad Hidalgo. He said, it's much friendlier and easier for tourists and you're gonna have a much better time getting through there. So we're like, okay, cool. So we're like realizing it's already 12.30 or so at this point. Yeah. It's an extra 45 minutes plus whatever traffic was to get down there. And so at this point we're like, you know what? Let's just scrap it. Mm -hmm. Let's head back into town and hang out for the night until the next day. Let everything just kind of settle. Like yeah. we were already, it had already been a lot of events for that day. And then if we wanted to add like a whole border crossing experience, which is already like stressful. Yeah. We just didn't want to deal with that. Well, we have officially made it back to our same Airbnb that we were at this morning. And we said adios to forever. Woo. And now we're here. So um, we probably could have gotten through the border today, but we just knew that since there was such a backup that the lines would be crazy and we just didn't want to deal with that. So maybe it worked out for the best. Who knows? We're gonna yeah, get up. we didn't get up early. We didn't get shot. I know. I was like pushing yesterday. I was like, we should get up early and go. You know, blah blah blah. And everyone was like, nah, we have time. It's fine. If we had gotten up early and gone, we might have gotten shot. Right. So, hindsight, we had another day to hang out <laughs> and get work done. More tacos. More tacos. Who can complain? So today is actually our last day in Mexico. Oh, not yesterday. Yay. Then got up the next morning and we're Nice and early again. the next morning. Yes. Yeah, we got up early the next morning. Good morning. Round two. Head to the border again. Yup. We're feeling good. We're feeling good about today though. Megan's I'm feeling. Braids, Megan's braids are great. Today. My braids are so good. I slept. <laughs> it's sunny out. It's got that morning glow. What could go wrong? So we go to check out of Mexico. Alrighty, so we have made it to the border. And first of all, we had to check out 
of the Mexico side. So we had to go in this building right over here and had to get our passport stamped and then had to check out our import permit for the motorcycle so we could get our initial deposit back. Yeah. And it was pretty smooth. For some reason though, they didn't stamp our passports when we entered Mexico. They stamped our form, but not our passports. And so the lady was like, you're not in the system. <laughs> and for a second we were like, shit, shit, are we stuck in Mexico? Megan hands the lady her passport first and the lady's like hand has it for a while and then she starts telling us in Spanish that Megan isn't in the system and that her passport wasn't stamped. What? And then we're like, Megan's not in the system? Like she I doesn't. was like illegally in Mexico. Yeah, and then, so I give them mine and they're like, yep, you're not in the system either and no one stamped your passport and we're like, So what? what happened is when we came into Mexico, the border agents stamped our migration form and not our passport, which I had read online that that happens sometimes and that's okay. But this border agent just was not okay with it. I guess so. He just didn't do happened. it. Something happened. So yeah, lesson learned. But they eventually let us. They, let they us eventually leave. gave us the stamp. The stamp out. We started talking to them in our poor Spanish, and they laughed at me, and I think they felt bad. So they're like, "Get her out of here." Megan embarrassed everybody <laughs> Stop. by by speaking Spanish. So. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> For real. Okay, yeah, so and we then got. I, and then I embarrassed myself <laughs> speaking Spanish. But I mean, like, we, we checked out of Mexico, no problem. And then we took the border crossing over the river to Guatemala. It was honestly really easy and smooth. We'd heard that it could take hours on that side and paperwork, and it's confusing and complicated. We were like the only one trying to cross the border at that time. Yep. First of all. And then we found it very easy. Showing up, these guys came up to us and they started talking to us in Spanish and a little bit of English and they were kind of like directing us to like where to park and where to go and they mm -hmm. were money changers. And so they directed us to the migration office, which is like, was just this little building. We almost drove past it. Yeah, we almost drove past it and we go in there and like everyone was so friendly. It All was, the Guatemalans were super cool. It was like the most relaxed like migration process. Yeah, they're just making <laughs> jokes, ever been through. you know, and they're yeah. just like hand us a piece of paper and we're just like hanging out and they talking. They asked us how long we were going to be in Guatemala and we're like, oh, two weeks, maybe three weeks. And they're like, no, three months. Three months, be here for just three months. Can he just be here for three months? We're like, go ahead. I'm like, oh, we can't, I can't but do okay. that, unfortunately, <laughs> but thanks. Fill out all the paperwork and we give it back and then we go outside and there's another guy there who's like um, asking us if we need help and like he was a helper, right? So like those guys at the border who, you know, they help you out and then afterwards they like expect money. Um, but we're like, all right, whatever, you know, it's cool. So he takes us over to where we need to get copies of everything. So he makes sure we get all, the, he talks to the woman in Spanish, makes sure we get all the copies we need. Mm -hmm. And then he starts asking us questions if we have like all this other stuff that we got from the migration office, which we didn't get. For some reason they didn't do it. So he takes us back over there and they like signed out a piece of paper and gave us a stamp that we needed in order to get the vehicle imported into Guatemala. And then he takes us over to where we do that. And then the people in the office where they do it are super nice, like, oh, sit down, sit down, you know? Yeah, and like, they were so They're chill. so laid back. And Guatemalan Spanish is much easier to understand than Mexican mm -hmm. Spanish. It's slow and Slow punctual. and clear and, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so <laughs> we had a pretty smooth just check out for our check-in process into Guatemala. Yeah. The guy officer who was helping us was like really nice, just asking us questions and it was uh, really cool. So I yeah. know that a lot of people don't like the local helpers to come and like bother them at the border, but we found it really, really helpful. And I think in all in all, we spent like ten, fifteen dollars with yeah. everyone yeah. to help us. And the process was so quick. Like we were in and out of our whole border crossing crop. Border crossing process probably took like an hour. At the end there, like when we <laughs> said goodbye, I walked up and like gave him some fist bumps and high fives and they like gave me some hugs and we were like, have fun traveling, you know? Gracias uh, hey. para la ayuda. Hey. Feliz <laughs> Gracias. Okay, hey. Feliz firmas. Hey, okay, gracias. They're cool. Yeah, and then we left. Um, we went through the thing, this thing, the guy checks your paperwork and he was nice. Again, everyone was super friendly. Mm -hmm. And then we hit the road. We had about an hour drive north to Malacatan. As you can see, we have made it to our accommodation for the evening, and it's very, very pretty. Here's Megan. 
in her her natural yellow habitat. Yeah, you can just kind of see how green it is around here, man. It's crazy, crazy green. It's yep. a small town. We uh, intentionally got an Airbnb pretty close to the border in, in anticipation that it would take a while or whatever, but it didn't, so we got there in the afternoon. And then we got all of our stuff dropped off, and then we went into the town and got some food, some ceviche, and we met some nice young local boys. All right, everyone, we made it to Guatemala. We're here in the city, and we made some new friends here. Yeah, they uh, made some ceviche for us. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm friend, what's up, man? Ah, it's okay. All right. So yeah, here we are. Good. Having a good time, Megan? Oh yeah. First day in Guatemala. Can't oh, yeah. that. It's the ceviche. The ceviche. Oh yeah, my man. There it is. <laughs> Best ceviche in Guatemala. Hell yeah. To uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> I know you're watching this because you got all of our information. Even though you don't understand what I'm saying right now, it's totally cool. What an introduction to Guatemala, it was wild. We just wanted to put that in there because it was too funny to leave out. Hello. 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 Wow. Non-stop nice. Apparently they don't get gringos here very often. No, they don't. I think we're the first gringos they ever saw, right? <laughs> I think so. I think that's what they said. And their minds are blown by the white people. Happy to help. Yeah. We saw a baby scorpion. We saw a baby scorpion. It's very cool. Yeah. And then the next day, yeah, we drove the cello. Lady cop. Nice. That was a fun one. <laughs> awesome. Four speakers, one truck. Oh my gosh, and it was cold driving. It was very cold. We gained, like, we went up to like 8,000 feet in elevation. Yeah. Through the cloud forest. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was really Crazy cool. <laughs> and like two, two funny things happened on the way into Cello, which one was like, uh, so the day before when we were in- Malakatan. Uh, Malakatan, thank you. When we were I'm in Malakatan, we got tacos at the, in the evening and there was this guy standing outside the taco shop and he was like really nice. So we were just like, talked to him really quick, said hello, like whatever, and then we went on our way. The next day, we're driving to Chella and we see this car in front of us and it's like doing, giving like the wave to come forward. So we pull up next to it and it's the guy. And we and were like two hours down the road. You could take so many different routes. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> and he's like, what's up? I'm from the taco shop. And we're like, <laughs> what? what are you doing here? It was super funny. So we just like talked to him a little bit. And again, he tells us happy travels, man. You know, we're like, thank you, man. That's so cool. And then we just kind of kept going. And it was a really nice ride. Uh, you know, we came out of the mountains and we came down and it got warm again. And then we had to go down this like main road, but like the main highway area like led right through a market. <laughs> just surrounded by people in market. Could you imagine coming through here in one of those massive overlander cars? I don't think you could go this. Like, how would you get through Guatemala, you know? Such Chaos. Chaos. But once again, it's very clean and like, each place is organized, you know? Yeah, for real. So strange. But it was ridiculous. It was people everywhere. It was so funny. Yeah. So we did that and we got through and it was cool. It was really cool. It was fun. And then, yeah, rolled into Chella and... All right, everyone. Well, we have made it to our stay here in Chella. And just a quick look around the courtyard of the place we are staying. 
super cool, very nice, quiet area of town. We parked the bike in a paid parking area across the street for five nights and four days. Keeping the bike there it cost us about $30, so not bad because there isn't parking on the premise here. We didn't want to leave the motorcycle on the street. Take a look at the room we're staying in. We are at about 8,000 feet elevation, so it gets nice and cool in the evening. Real spacious stay here. Very, very cool. We're happy with it. And then you've got the bathrooms over that way. So yeah, it'll be a nice spot to kind of hang out for a couple days and get some work done and dive into the city a little bit. Funny enough, on the way into town, we saw a Taco Bell and Megan and I love Taco Bell. And there's another one that's only 350 meters away from here. So I think we're gonna unload and then we're gonna head over to Taco Bell and have like a nice, cheesy, nasty American Mexican meal in Guatemala. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be a good time. Spent yesterday checking out the hood. Yeah, the hood. Got some food. But anyway, that was, that our, was the... Our, our border crossing <laughs> and our first two days in Guatemala. It was really great. It was, uh, it was fun. It was yeah. eventful as always. And uh, yeah, we're having a really good time. Guatemala has been super nice to us so far. I wrote a blog post about crossing the border. If you're thinking about doing it and need more information, I yes. wrote it all out. Yes. I will link yeah. below. Uh, that's a good yes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. You know, if you have something to say about it, write it down in the comments below. Oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be really cool when we get you as a subscriber. Oh, I think everyone's tuned out by now. Yeah, probably. If you're still here, wow. Good on ya. Good on ya. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Much love. Peace.